Jemima, do we sniff green sapphire or we sniff the other one? Behind the camera is a GRN Magnificent and that is my daughter guys. Uh, please do subscribe to her channel. She works behind the scenes with me. She is trying to grow guys. Let's get her to, you know, a thousand as well. She and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're joining me here for the first time my content consists of mostly fragrance reviews fashion and lifestyle videos now if that sounds like something that interests you please do consider subscribing before you leave and to those who are returning thank you so much for the continued support uh, as you can see we are in the warehouse and this is going to be part eight i reserved a fragrance uh, world for part eight because there are so many of them uh, but we are just going to do random uh, picks and we are going to open some some will not a uh, reason being um if you are familiar with fragrance world you know that they copy the box they copy the name they copy almost everything so for some of them like for instance this one i may not need to actually open this one for you barakat rouge 540 just based on uh the box this is going to be the extract um profumo okay profumo if you are into uh the aqua di jour you will know that aqua di jour does have profumo uh let me see if i can just open um let me see if i can just open one that in actually interests me okay, yes. now this is legion okay this is legion um this one is going to be inspired by parfums de mali for the sake of time, I'm going to put the name there. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's kind of unisex actually, but the, the bottle looks uh, very intimidating to me. I would have thought this is ultra masculine, but this is actually quite uh, unisex, at least to my nose. So that is Legion. It is also from uh, Fragrance World. Uh, just put it aside. We have um, Oud Mood. Okay, this is Oud Mood. So this I would uh, think that it is probably an Oud Satin Mood dupe or just an Oud Mood because they have this Oud Satin Mood dupe, but this one just goes on to say Oud Mood. So um, I don't know what the difference is there. Let's give this one a quick sniff. Uh, this one is brown leather. Uh, this one is brown leather and I believe this one could be inspired by Tom Ford's ombre leather if I'm not mistaken Let's just give it a quick sniff and then I will tell you whether I am right or wrong So yeah, we will do individual reviews of most of these uh, fragrances if not all in due course because obviously I have a fragrance review channel and it is beneficial to me um to bring you as many reviews as possible okay oh yeah absolutely so this is a tom ford ombre leather dupe and it's a very good one i get that nuttiness there it's definitely there there is that spiciness there uh very good actually and for the price because the fragrance world uh, fragrances are very affordable if you um into fragrances and you know and you or if you're into dupes they are very affordable this one just based on the scent profile this uh brown leather uh, for men is going to be uh, a six seven hour mark because the actual ombre leather scent profile is quite thick it's quite heavy it's quite dense it's concentrated and i am already getting that uh from just this the next one is going to be oniro okay oniro for the ones that i don't get to say what they are duping i am going to put a you know on the i'm just going to put a writing at the bottom of the screen because there is a lot to go through like i did say when it comes to fragrance uh, now Gucci Flora, okay, of course, this, this is not Gucci, uh, but you can see, and this is why I was saying Fragrance World tend to copy everything. Um, I personally don't like the fragrance, the, the dupe companies that actually tend to copy everything because I think if you're into fragrances, I mean, they don't have to go that far uh, because you could just, uh, by sniffing some of these fragrances, you can tell what they are. But Fragrance World is one of those companies that will copy everything. So this Flora, um, flora by flora which is from fragrance world is obviously going to be your gucci floral dupe uh next up let's see next up is going to be this one imperium okay imperium let's give it a quick sniff and see what it's about oh okay so this is going to be your early sum uh dupe this is going to be your um 
uh, Roger Dove. Okay, it's gonna be your Roger Dove Elisam tube. Let's give it a quick uh, sniff and see. Mm, absolutely beautiful. It's blue, it's crisp, it's aquatic, ozonic. Mm, very nice, actually, very nice. I think I can actually totally wear this. Okay, these you see, these are some of these fragrances that just looking at the bottle, it's easy to make a, sh a mental shortcut and uh, you know say this is going to be for men. But this is giving me beautiful aquatic, oceanic, ozonic, fresh uh, vibes and spiciness at that as well. So I'm just going to put it back. Um, Lane to de rouge. It looks like they have. Uh, duped uh, line to D, but theirs is called Prohibit Rouge. I'm not gonna spray this one um, because this one is also a bit on the loud side. So if I spray it, it's most likely that I'm gonna spend the whole day smelling like this. So Prohibit Rouge um, is your La Inter D Rouge by Givenchy dupe or La Inter D Intense. Actually, it's your La Inter D Intense uh, dupe uh, here. Rose Seduction Secret. Some of these are new to me as well. So yeah, guys, we are at Dubai Perfume Cafe. Uh, please do uh, patronize them if you haven't already. If you are in South Africa, if you are in neighboring countries, uh, contact them. Uh, their store actually has a bookshop front. The front of Dubai Perfume Cafe looks like a bookstore um, because they store they, they, they keep their fragrances in the warehouse. Uh, so for some people that don't know, if you are at Oriental Plaza and you're looking for an actual perfume shop, you might actually get lost. Uh, but um, you know, if you look for Dubai Perfume Cafe, but on the display uh, window, just expect like a book shop. So the fragrances, most of them are not displayed uh, because they deal with uh, individual as well as bulk orders. So you may have to actually, you know, get into the store and then uh, make your inquiries. But in any case, their website has their phone number. So if you are, uh, you know, getting lost, you can always contact them by uh, or via WhatsApp. So this is Rose uh, Secret Seduction, and this is going to be your Victoria uh, Secret secret uh rose oud dupe absolutely it's giving me sweet it's giving me subtle it's giving me a little bit of some oud just a little bit of some oud like a gentle uh like a gentle stepping stone oud uh you know like your baby steps kind of oud it's not like uh, in your face kind of oud so uh if that one is something that you may want to consider it is something that um is out here and obviously on the affordable side because i believe fragrance world from all these uh, middle eastern uh, fragrance dupe companies are probably the most affordable if i'm not mistaken there could be more obviously that are affordable um superior superior bouquet this is going to be your uh, supreme bouquet dupe your ysl supreme bouquet dupe it's quite obvious ophelia is going to be your olympia uh, your olympia parker robon olympia dupe uh, and they have called theirs Ophelia. I don't know wh whether this one is the actual uh, original or it is a flanker to uh, Olympia. I'm not sure because they haven't stated. But based on the fact that they haven't stated, I'm going to assume that this one is duping the original. Des Temptations. Des Temptations is another dupe. And guys, if you're not sure, I did do a comprehensive uh, dupe compilation list for Fragrance World. So you can also reference that for ease of reference. So if it seems as though I'm running through some of these, uh, you know, fragrances, it's because we have a dupe compilation list already. We are going to update it. Uh, but for now, you know, for the sake of uh, just making sure that the video doesn't become monotonous, some of them I will open, some I will give my take, and some I will just show you. This is going to be your journey. Uh, dupe and off the barakat line they have released this new one and uh, this one is gentle gold and it's a no-brainer that this is going to be duping mfk's uh, gem gentle fluidity gold i'm just going to give it a quick sniff and uh, see if it's on point this just came in oh okay so it looks like it's a slide out okay so it's a slide out okay it's a slide out and that's how you get to the perfume and I'm going to give Gentle Gold a quick sniff and tell you my thoughts. Okay, even the bottle looks the same. It's just that this one's slightly bigger. I think this one is 100 ml and MFKs are 85 ml. I'm going to spray this one and see. See. Mm, this is nice. 
this is very nice it's sweet it's it's sweet it's smooth it's soft it's fuzzy gives me the um you know like a soft warm comforting cashmere vibe uh, i might actually buy this one and give it a, a, a you know more of a test run and see what i think about it because i think this one is nice i will uh, maybe take this one home with me and give it a test run and then uh, give you an in-depth review of Barakat uh, gentle gold so we're going to put this one to the side and we move on brown orchid i did feature this one amethyst uh, amethyst is your alien mugla alien dupe we have invicto this one is obvious it's in your face violet sapphire is inspired by uh bodicea the purple one uh, so this one is also a bit obvious i'm also going to put it to the side and then this needs no introduction guys la via bell screaming out right there because the box everything is in your face okay mocha wood this one is an ultra masculine scent this doesn't give me unisex vibe it's going to appeal to the men out there um it has woods i think it has vertiver as well uh, but a lot of woods it, i think it also has sandalwood i'm actually not sure if it does have wood but this is your masculine scent and i often have people asking me about mocha wood so for the gents out there uh that is one for you oniro otto oniro otto i'm gonna have to write what this one is a dupe for uh but it's obviously maybe your uh, it's your aquatic scent you know one of those in the uh maybe uh you know aquatic kind of vibe liberty is going to be your lib ysl lib these are the some of the ones that are actually very obvious you don't need anyone to interpret this to you invicto is going to be your invictus and it goes on to say intense so invicto intense is going to be for the gents out there if you're looking for an invictus uh, alternative um there is this one f by fragrance world i don't know it could be a standalone i'm gonna to have to ask you know i'm gonna ask the guys here what this one is inspired by rose seduction secret is also inspired by victoria secret rose seduction so this one is also right there in your face if you're looking for an alternative rose d champ is your louis vuitton um rose rose I, i've forgotten uh, but i will put it there i will type it it's a rose champ or something this one your louis vuitton uh dupe and then there's scarlet there is harmony code all these fragrances you can purchase guys 540 this is in uh you know without a shame kind of dupe in your face for 540 uh bavaria this is going to be your bubari pour on uh dupe berries this is going to be your burberry uh dupe it's quite a light scent it's sweet as well uh quite juvenile appeals to youngsters i'd say 18 25 even in the 13s they will wear this tobacco myth another uh, this one is a ch um dupe it's from carolina herrera's Privé line uh this uh, uh tobacco myth so uh, but this one is quite strong this is loud this is bold so this is uh going to be one uh, that will appeal if you love tobacco fragrances uh green sapphire uh this one is also a dupe of uh, bodicea um i'm not sure whether we should open uh, this one or we should open the other one which one do i sniff for them green sapphire Jemima, do we sniff green sapphire or we sniff the other one? Um, maybe green sapphire. This one. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna give this one a quick sniff and I'll well, tell you. Can you can do both. Okay, I'm, let's give this one first a quick sniff and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Behind the camera is a GRN Magnificent, and that is my daughter, guys. Please do go and give her a, a, uh, a follow. Uh, uh, please do subscribe to her channel. She's got a channel, GRN Magnificent. She works behind the scenes with me. She is trying to grow, guys. Let's get her to, you know, a thousand as well. She's currently on about 60 subscribers. She does, you know, a mixed bag of everything. And, uh, you know, you will get to see the other side of me as well because she is my daughter you know sometimes she features me on that channel and uh, you know we we have fun there jira m magnificent i'm going to put her name uh in the bottom there so you can go ahead and support her as well oh okay green sapphire gives me middle eastern rooty vibes spicy it's rooty 
it's green okay that's an obvious it's sweet a little bit sweet um it does have a root there um maybe ginger maybe cloves as well uh but it is uh woodsy and it's green so um that is green sapphire for you uh we were debating okay so we're not going to open violet sapphire but uh as you can see this is how it looks like you can uh, reference the dupe compilation list if you want to know what this one is duping and i also did um kind of do a quick check on uh on this one this one this um accent overdose is actually a dupe of zershoff uh zershoff's accento uh overdose uh theirs is called over overpower accent overpower accent is actually a dupe of accento's uh overdose uh by zershoff so i did just did a quick check there so that uh if you guys wanted to know because we did take a quick break fragrance world has a gazillion of fragrances guys there is uh, brown orchid sapphire is is your c replica uh this by ba ba baccarat rouge we did talk about this one theirs is baracat 540 ch Privé, the Privé line they went on to do uh, tobacco uh, myth uh, there is also celesti hazel um and there is also aftermath intro so this is going to be your initial uh dupe uh um i'm not sure i think this one is initial would be initials atomic rose if i'm not mistaken if i am i will correct that extreme oud okay uh brown orchid and um dealer um demure lux this is your obvious black opium dupe just by looking at the bottle so yeah let me just wrap it up here for uh the fragrance world uh fragrances uh thank you so much guys for joining me today we were at dubai perfume cafe this was part eight um if you want to uh, patronize these guys they do have a, a you know a, a website that is quite clear cut you can go on the website and you can uh try to see if you can purchase these fragrances if you want further assistance obviously you can contact them via email or whatsapp c chronicles is my name and behind the camera is gr and magnificent and that is my daughter she has a youtube channel please guys do go and support her there um let us get her also to 1k she's always on the other side of the camera helping me uh, all the time like this video if you like it and turn on post notifications that way guys you will be notified anytime i upload a video uh, thank you so much for joining me today and remember that smelling good smelling good although the camera woman gave me a latafa i'm just gonna say smelling good with these two mocha wood and the latafa kima woman is a form of good manners cheers